In this video I just want to run through the steps involved in changing the contour interval for your surface. As you can see on this example I've got here, currently I've got a 1 meter vertical contour interval. You can see I've got a level of 251 here and 252 here. Now depending on your end use for the drawing that may be sufficient or it may not be enough or it may be too much. So I want to just show you how you can adjust it. On newer versions of Civil 3D you can create your own contour intervals with your own surface style but I'm using the 2013 version and as far as I know the only way to do it is what I'm about to show you here. The, the method I'm about to show you will work on newer versions it's just that the newer versions work um, I suppose in a little bit of a, a more convenient way. Uh, I'll, I'll explain to you what I mean by that in a second. So the first thing if we want to change the contour interval is to select the surface by clicking on it then come up to surface properties and here is where you would normally pick from a drop down list uh, the style of contour uh, display that you want surface display that you want so if I click on 2 and 10 for example and then go apply and go OK a lot of my contours on my surface have dis disappeared because the site is relatively flat so while it's still selected I can go into surface properties again now the closest one I want to what I, I want to use is 1 and 5 design. Um, on newer versions of Civil 3D, down at the bottom of this list you'll find one called User Defined. And that would be the one you should use if you want to make up your own um, intervals. But I just want to show you how to edit what's already here. So 1 and 5 is the closest to what I want. The contour intervals I really want to use on here are half a metre and one metre. So I take an existing one that's close to what I want and I come over to the edit button which is the uh, little blue square with the pencil beside it and click on there. Now I want to change the name of it because when I'm on my list it's going to be important that I can select the one I, that I need so I'm going to change that to 0 0.5 meter 0 0.5 M and 1 M design just by naming it, uh, I'm not changing any settings, it's just going to be easy to find later on. Um, over to the Contours uh, tab now, and uh, we want to come down to Contour Intervals. And this is where we need to make some changes. So you can see that in the program, the minor interval was 1 meter. I want to change that to 0 0.5. And the major interval was 1 meter. Uh, sorry, it was, uh, God, I don't know what it was now, to be honest with you. Hang on. Uh, I can't remember, I think it was 5, so I just need to change that to 1. And I'm just clicking outside. Not too worried about smoothing or anything like that right now. All I want to do is just change the intervals. It's important here when you click on display that your intervals, uh, your your um, contours are displayed, and the, the layers are displayed. What I found before was having made the changes here to my contour intervals, um, one of the things I, I had forgotten to do before was uh, to turn on the layers themselves. So if you have that uh, all turned off there, you won't see any contours appearing on your surface. So just make sure that they are switched on and go apply and OK and apply and OK. And you can see now that my surface has populated with um, far more contours than it had originally because I've changed the interval of that surface. So they should, if you have labels in there from before like I had, um they will uh bring they will come in from any previously made labels but uh what's there now can be labeled quite easily so just to show you very quickly again to change the interval click on the surface come up to surface properties and select from the list the one that you want to use and if you can't find the one that you want to use pick the closest one to it which i did a minute ago it was one and five click on it then come over to the edit button and go over to Contours, click on Intervals, and change the interval to whatever interval you want to use. 